Russ Miller here talking about the Mapex Black Panther Design Lab system of drums and I want to tell you guys about the, the SAS ring system. This is an incredible innovation. The Versatis system is of course inspired by this Versatis snare drum that we worked on for a really long time. What you'll notice here as a part of this original Versatis snare drum design, the first use of the SAS ring. And uh, you'll notice that there's a, a reinforcement ring on the batter side only of this drum. And the reason that that happened was it added more wood at the uh, contact point of the head, uh, the impact point of your playing. So you get a thicker sound, a fatter sound. Um, we're not using it for support, which is really what reinforcement rings were made for back in the day. For a very thin shell, like a five-ply shell, they'd have to put these rings on it so it wouldn't go out around. We're not doing that. We're using it for the sonic effect. A ring at the top adds bottom, gives it a little bit more throaty sound, and uh, for me it creates a little bit of what we I would call a vintage tone maybe. Now, the way this got translated to the system drums is pretty spectacular. Each chamber of the system drums is treated differently. So an 8-inch tom has no rings, 10-inch tom has no rings, the 12 has a, a ring on top only like this. And again, that's to control sustain a little bit, but to give a little bit more bottom end and thickness out of a 12-inch drum. The 13 has a ring on the bottom only, which is to control sustain of a bigger tom. Floor toms have rings top and bottom, gives them more bottom end and uh, more presence and throat in the sound. And then the bass drums have a really, really revolutionary system of the SAS rings. And that was done really for two main things. Now what you're gonna see here is one of the Versatis bass drums. And you'll notice there's three rings in the bass drum. The other thing you're gonna notice is the ring is set back at batter and resonant points. What that means is this ring stops the resonance or the sustain of the shell after impact and really shuts down that overtone or that really long tone that you would get out of a wide open bass drum. Now, I love playing wide open bass drums with no hole, but that's kind of sonically difficult for a lot of styles. It ends up sounding like a John Philip Sousa bass drum, you know, marching thing. So we want to be able to control it, have a little bit of funkier tone to it. But having nothing in the bottom of the bass drum gives me the full dynamic range of the instrument. And that's very difficult to get with bass drums. When, the more you put in there, the less dynamic range you have. So the setback uh, resonant and batter rings are to help control the sustain. Now one of the other things that happens in a bass drum is when the padding's in there, it breaks up what's called a standing wave, which is this bouncing wave that kind of bounces around the drum. And it sounds like a basketball hitting the ground, kind of that boingy basketball sound. Uh, when you put a pillow in there or something, it breaks that standing wave up so you don't hear that boingy basketball sound. Well. The design lab team got together with tons of testing and discovered that this internal center ring, SAS ring, could break up that standing wave as well. So that's why the Versatis bass drum comes really with no muffling. You really don't need any muffling because it's controlled, the standing wave is gone, and you have a full dynamic range out of the drum, and you can really open up that bass drum if you want to as much as you want to when you're playing or close it up by maybe digging the beater in, but uh, all those things are available to you as an artist with this level of instrument. So the SAS ring system inspired by the original Versata snare drum, uh, again customized and developed for each chamber in the Versata system. I've never seen anything like it.